to Legal Break. I'm Maureen Akers, and with us today, Gary Bruce. As always, thank you so much for joining us again, Gary. Good to be here. Thank you for having me. And we are talking about issues that are concerning to some of our viewers. And as a ma matter of fact, today we have a, a viewer that wrote in Good. asking about the city of Columbus. Could they be helped? Could they be held liable for a wrongful death if they were negligent in pursuing or fixing a public safety issue? All right. <laughs> it's kind of a loaded question, yeah, huh? <laughs> lots of angles there. Yeah. The, uh, so the issue is, are cities responsible to the citizens? Are they like, right. uh, like a corporation or another entity? Mm -hmm. Are they like a human, just any normal human? Mm -hmm. And the answer is yes and no. Okay. So uh, cities are generally responsible for their negligence in Georgia. Columbus, though, is treated like a county. Because and we are. That's yeah. right. And counties are not responsible to citizens for their negligence. Wow. How about that? That's so, kind of interesting. Yeah, <laughs> that's a strange deal. So it is. <laughs> except, and that's what the law is, right? Rules and then exceptions. Mm -hmm. uh, except when operating motor vehicles, they, right. they do have responsibility unless they're pursuing someone in a chase or something. So. Then there's protocols and issues there that I don't think we can really get into and I'm not prepared to answer. But <laughs> So the truth is if they're on an emergency run or something, mm -hmm. that's an exception. Mm -hmm. to, but if they're just, if an officer's just driving through town and runs into the back of you, then they, the city would be responsible for that. Right. So the answer is I don't know, given every fact situation is yeah. different, but uh, certainly there's arguments to be made based on the question for both sides. Right. So then. Does the city enjoy any kind of immunity from this tort liability? Well, yeah, that's exactly the point. A yeah. city wouldn't. So the city of Manchester may be responsible Might. for something that the city of Columbus wouldn't be because Columbus is treated like a county. Mm -hmm. So, And that's our consolidated government that we've had for many right, years. That's mm -hmm. right. And it is specifically carved out to be a little bit of an exception. There's been some movement in the Georgia legislature to treat all municipalities the same yeah. and county governments because it seems either they're not responsible or they are responsible, but make it consistent because it's a little bit uh, different. I will point out that in any kind of government action, there are notice requirements, and in, including cases against the state of Georgia, where you have to make sure there's written notice given to the proper authorities in the proper manner disclosing the exact information they ask for in a timely manner that is not two years, it's sometimes six months. Wow. So there are, there's lots of issues right. when you're dealing with suing a city, a municipality, a, 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 a government right. entity of any kind. Yeah, but if you think you have something, check it out. Thank Certainly. you so much, and we look forward to seeing you on the very next legal break.